everyone welcome to the video listen the audio very carefully and try to answer the question on the screen let's begin write your answers in your notepad or comment section of this video Have you ever seen bamboo on fire make loud pops and bursts? This is actually one of the earliest forms of fireworks, or what we call crackers in India. The Chinese word for it is baoshu, which means exploding bamboo. Long ago, a Chinese legend says that a monster would come on New Year's Eve to harm people and villages. To scare it away, people burned bamboo, making a loud noise that kept the monster away. This is how the tradition of fireworks started for the new year. Around 800 CE, Chinese alchemists mixed saltpeter, sulfur, and charcoal to make a simple form of gunpowder. They put this powder into bamboo sticks and threw them into a fire, creating loud blasts. This was the beginning of firecrackers. Later, they started using paper tubes instead of bamboo and added fuses made of thin paper. By the 10th century, the Chinese attached fireworks to arrows to shoot at their enemies. In the next 200 years, they invented rockets that could fly on their own without an arrow. This same idea is still used today to make rocket fireworks. Around the 13th century, gunpowder made its way to Europe. While it was used to create powerful weapons like cannons and muskets, Fireworks also became popular in celebrations and were later brought to the Americas by Europeans. On July 4, 1777, one year after American independence, fireworks were set off in celebration, starting a tradition that continues today. Until the 1830s, all fireworks only gave an orange glow. Then, inventive Italians began adding small amounts of metals and other materials to make fireworks brighter colorful, and shaped. Today, fireworks have five main ingredients, color producing salts and metals, gunpowder for fuel, an oxidizer to help the fuel burn, chlorine donors for more color, and a binder to keep everything together. Fireworks have a rich history across the world. Did you know that the use of fireworks in India dates back to at least the early 1500s? Accounts from travelers tell us that fireworks were a special attraction at grand events. At first, they were used mainly by rulers and the wealthy. But today, fireworks have become a popular part of celebrations for everyone. In India, Shiva Kasi and Tamil Nadu became the center of firework production after our independence. While this industry grew quickly, it also brought troubling issues, like child labor and poor working conditions. Even now, reports reveal that many young children under 14 are still working long hours in unsafe conditions for very low pay. The problems with fireworks go beyond just the working conditions. As we've all noticed, Fireworks create a huge amount of noise and air pollution. This pollution doesn't just disappear after the celebrations. It affects our air quality, causes breathing issues, disturbs pets, and harms wildlife. Every year, despite rules and regulations, pollution spikes during festive times, making life difficult, especially for those with health issues. To address this, 
The Council for Scientific and Industrial Research has developed what they call green crackers, which reportedly reduce pollution by 30%. These green crackers are a promising step, but many of us are still unsure about how much they help or if they truly make a difference. So, where does that leave us? As a community, it's time to think about celebrating responsibly. We don't have to give up our traditions, but we can try to limit our use of fireworks and opt for more environmentally friendly options. And most importantly, we must raise awareness about how these celebrations impact the people who make them possible. Together, we can make our festivals safer, fairer, and more enjoyable for everyone. Thank you for listening, and let's work toward a brighter, cleaner future for all.